Hey everybody, welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, that's me, and today we're doing a John Deere 445 valve clearance adjustment. Looked all over the internet, it was hard to find some good videos on it, so I figured I'd put one together for you. Um, so far, I have run a leak down test, a compression test, and I know that my valves are out of adjustment. Uh, I think the manual says every 300 hours to adjust them, so... Uh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, you got to take off the covers, uh, which we will do. Um, but before you get there, you're going to want to get in here and clean it all up. Because you are looking for on the flywheel, the numbers 1 and 2. So, uh, you can't really see it there, but let me go backwards here. Come on. I took a, uh, a white pen, uh, paint pen, and I marked it so it's easier. There's cylinder 1. And cylinder two, I also marked. There's also an R on here somewhere that I marked. Uh, I don't know what the R is for, to be honest, but it's in here somewhere. Sorry about the focus. Anyway, what you need to do is after you find those two, you gotta look way back there on your breather cover. You can barely see it in the back. The light's not, get the light up there, there we go. There's an arrow pointing down on the breather cover it's that white blob that it's not really focusing. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn this to, once you have your valve covers off, to line up the number two and one with that arrow. And then you adjust that cylinder that you're lined up for. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to get to that point and uh, we'll come back. All right. So what's been about... A uh, half a second for you has been, you know, an hour and a half for me going in and out of the house with the kid. Anyway, this is where we're at. We got the uh, valve covers off. This is what you're looking at. Uh, same thing on the other side. I'll just, you know, got it right there. Um, so now what you need to do is you need to figure out what is cylinder one and cylinder two. And as we're looking forward, cylinder one is right here. Cylinder two is over there. Um, so I've already got this, I think, lined up. Let's see here. Nope, see, I don't. All right, so I got to get this lined up for cylinder two. So let me hit pause. Or actually what I'm going to do is pull this out of here. And I'm going to do cylinder one for you. All right, <clears throat> as we rotate, you're going to see the valves open and close. <sighs> So that's, that's opening, all right, here it comes back up on the compression. Now when both cylinders are not moving, usually you'd be near the top. So how do you know? You put something in there, this is, I know that's way up at the top already. So now what I want to do is I want to look in here and I'm not lined up. So I got to keep turning until that is the number one, and that looks to be lined up at the top. All right, so now that we got it lined up at the top, let's see. Look at that, that's way at the top, that's great. All right, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> let me hit the pause button here. All right, so we're going to grab our feeler gauge. This is a .010. And we're going to stick it in here and see how much clearance we have or don't have. And I would say don't have. So now what you have to do is you got to, I can't do this with one hand. All right, I'm going to try and do this so you can see it. Um, what you have to do is you got to loosen these nuts and then these little square, square ones are what you turn to the gap and then you got to <clears throat> tighten it down. So let's Loosen that up. Loosen that up. All right, so now we have our 010. We have to keep loosening. All right, so now I can get this underneath there, and I want to just do it. That's why I can't pull it out, but just that there's drag on it. We're going to tighten that up. All right, same thing over here. All right, loosen that up. Do it so there's drag. 
back that off. All right, here's gonna be the thing though. Now when I go to tighten this, There we go. Tighten this. Sometimes when you tighten it, it moves and it tightens it to the point where you lose that gap. Nice. Check that out. Nice and nicer. Nice and nicer. All right. So we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side of the engine. All right, here we go. We're on to cylinder two. Um, <clears throat> another way you can tell is that the oil fill is on cylinder two. So, uh, where's my gauge? Here it is. Let's see how we're doing over here. Nope, really tight. That one is pretty close. Um, we are at top dead center. Uh, I did check that the marks are lined up. So, same process. Sorry if my hand's in your way. We're going to loosen the nut. Loosen the nut. Very good. All right, still on our 010 gauge. Slide it up in there. Come on, come on. All right, good. You know, just a little bit of drag. Right, tighten that thing down. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. I must have stepped on something. There we go. Tighten that down. Tighten that down a little more. Good. All right, let's tighten it up. This is really, really an easy, easy adjustment to make. Good. And. Good. Eh, it's a little loose. I'm going to actually do that one a little more here. This is where having... A small enough wrench or it doesn't take much to tighten it. Let's see. Much better. See that's that's fault. See how that just like it, it's gonna stay there, but just a little bit of pressure comes right out. I'm gonna do the same thing and make it make it just a hair tighter. When I say hair, I mean I'm really not turning this thing at all. I may turn that maybe a 32nd of an inch. And it tighten that thing up. Better. Better. All right, that's all there is to it. We're gonna put the rocker cover back on and go from there. So I'm gonna hit the stop and come back uh, for the next step. All right, a couple minutes later, and we're back. Um, got the valve covers on both sides. Got the spark plugs in. Uh, I'm going to run a compression test now. Um, I guess I should have done a leak down test, but uh, I adjusted the valve. So we're going to see. Uh, one of the reasons I was doing this was I did have some popping and some smoke. So I'm hoping it was the valves and low compression. Um, so before you can do a compression test, you got to let it come up to temperature, hoses warm, uh, thermostat open. Um, yeah, the, the other thing I should have done, because uh, this tractor is new to me, is I should have gotten a new battery right out of the gate. Uh, you know, I don't know if, I mean, it was a really weak battery. I don't know if that impacted my compression or, or what, but I ended up with an SP40 which has, uh, from Interstate, 350 cranking amps. Last one was an SP35. I think it was 300. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to, uh, or I'm going to uh, get it started, let it run for a little while, fingers crossed, and uh, I'll bring you back. All right, well, it started up. Just got it started. Gonna let it run for about, I don't know, 10 minutes and uh, see what happens. It sounds good. I hear a little bit of what could be valve. It's like a ping, 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 ping. But I know I've got it set uh, correctly. So we're going to let it warm up and, and see what happens and uh, come back in a little bit. 
All right, so it's been warmed up for about 10 minutes. Um, things are hot. Uh, I was about mid-gauge on my thermostat. Hoses are hot. Uh, I've gone ahead and removed both spark plugs now. And now we're going to uh, we're gonna run it, or we're gonna turn it over. Uh, you don't wanna do it for more than you know five, 10 seconds on the starter. You wanna burn it out. Um, you do have to be in the wide open throttle position. I'm starting with cylinder one, and here we go. All right, first reading, 130. 170 is the, um, yeah, where it should be. All right, turn that off. All right, so we got up to about 140. Oof. All right, let me hit the pause button on this now. All right, we're gonna go now over into cylinder two. We have it all hooked up. Wait for that light to go out, here we go. All right, we are at about 140 again. So they're, at least they're even. At least they're even, evenly under the minimum of 170. Um, all right. Turn that off. All right, so. Uh, let me see here. Let's take a look. See? Uh, it's come down a little bit. Uh, looks to be at about, like I said, at about 140 on both of them. And uh, at least they're both equal. Um, so what could be going on? I don't know. I, sh I might do a leak down test here uh, in a second just to see if I can figure out if it's rings, valves, or whatever. Um, one thing to note, uh, this is a 2,445. Um, uh, the person before me had put in these long plugs, these, I don't know if you can read that, the BPR5ES, but after doing a bunch of research, it looks like it was supposed to be the short plug. I'm just bring you over here really quick. Uh, it's supposed to be these. Wow, that's still hot to the touch. Shouldn't touch that. Uh, what are they? BMR6As. Uh, I just got to readjust the gap on it, and... Uh, we should be good. All right, so did the leak down test. I said, why not? I got it all out, everything's on the table. Uh, did cylinder one, perfect. No matter the pressure I put in is the pressure I got out. Now come over here to cylinder two and uh, not the same story. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna tell you what I think. We either have a badly, um, uh, gapped intake valve or we have a bad intake valve uh, from the previous person running it so long so this is how this is how the leak down works all right so this is a leak down tester um, air compressor in the bottom out to the cylinder over there and we are gonna uh, pressurize it I'm putting in 55 I'm I'm only holding less than 10 um, and let me get you closer. You can hear So because of that right there, let me just turn this off All right, because of that sound uh, That means air is getting through the intake and coming up out. So I'm gonna have to go back in check the alignment and go from there so yeah, so I think we, I need to go back in, double check the gap on that. I already have it at top dead center. I made sure to check um, just, just because I want to make sure the valves are closed um, before doing the leak down test. So maybe something loosened while it was running. Uh, we're going to have to go in and find out. But we want to do it at uh, shop temperature is when you adjust the valves. So I'm going to give this uh, about an hour to cool off and then uh, I'll come back to it. Alright, uh, back uh, after playing with the kit a little bit. 
And indeed, we have lost our 010 gap on this side. Uh, we are number two cylinder is at the top dead. Um, position, I mean, yeah. We are. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spin it one full revolution and bring the two back to the top. Because those uh, it shouldn't be moving like that when you just touch it. So let's go ahead and hit pause. All right, after one full revolution, let's check this again. Oh, see, no, I mean, well, I mean, that's incredibly loose. And that is very, very loose. This is our intake. This is where the leak down test was saying, because um, the air was escaping up here out of uh, the, the bowl, the carburetor where it's fuel injected, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, we're going to have to readjust this. So I'm going to hit the pause and give it another shot. All righty. This is now regapped. That's much tighter in there. Uh, not very loose. So let's see what happens with the leak down test right now. Let me hit the pause. All right, leak down test time. Uh, let's see what happens. Engage. Oh, look at that. Now we're holding. Awesome. Looks like we have it adjusted correctly. Perfect. So now both sides, uh, the valves are adjusted. And they definitely were loose. Um, so now, come off of there. Gosh darn it. I got to figure out how to get that off. Anyway, um... Gonna put it back together, let it run, and uh, I think I'm gonna call it. I think it's pretty good. Um, these are, this is, by the way, I know this is way too late into the video, nine millimeter wrench. That's socked down pretty good. I know there are torque specs. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging. Hope it helped you out. Laters. This is Doug Dud Stuff. Hit the subscribe button.